Uh, for today's video, I have a crystal oscillator using a hex inverting Smith trigger. This is a really simple circuit using four capacitors, two resistors, the oscillator, and the 74HC14 hex inverting Smith trigger. Alright, so for uh, capacitor C1 and C2, they're tied, they come off the ground side. This is our ground, this is our 5 volt positive. And a capacitor over each leg of the oscillator. And so it comes off of pin 1 over here to this pin of the oscillator, and then out of this one with a resistor into pin 2. And there's a resistor between pin 1 and pin 2. And a capacitor between pin 2 and 3. And a capacitor between pin 4 and 5. And our output is pin 6. Like I said, pretty simple. I'll show you the schematic on this. I made this circuit <coughs> specifically to drive a Tesla coil. Right now I have a 4 megahertz. Uh, oscillator in there and when I used this before like I said uh, I was testing before driving a Tesla coil with the oscillator circuit as well as using a wireless interrupter I, I drove it with an oscillator rather than just trying to use a primary or secondary resonance because this oscillator circuit is pretty solid and I, I never had an issue with it and that helps out for the wireless interrupt part of it so in short, my wireless interrupter for my Tesla, second, my double resonant Tesla coil operates better with the crystal oscillator. So that's something I'm going to be digging into. Also, I need some breadboard. I've got a bunch of circuits made up on breadboard, so I'm just trying to put everything on video so I can free up some space. So, but here it is. I've got the frequency counter on it, four megahertz even. That's the size of the crystal we have in there, and it works really well. Right, so here's the schematic. So you can pause that and look at it if you need. Capacitor one and two, they're the same. Those are the ones that tie from the ground, like it shows on here. There's a ground. And there's a crystal, there's the two resistors, there's the one between um, pin 1 and 2, and the crystals, uh, or sorry, capacitor 3 and 4, and those sizes are right there. This is what my meter measured. Those are the cheaper capacitors you can buy, something I've had for a while, and I'm, I actually made this a long time ago. So I'm also going to work on it too with some newer one capacitors I've had for recently. And I have no doubts it's going to work just fine if it's operating just as well with these cheap ones. Alright guys, there's my uh, crystal oscillator circuit. In particular, uh, the one I use for Tesla coil. Right, be sure to subscribe so you can catch the next videos.